Hello Stamper! Welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at FrenchieStamps.com. Today it's my tip video for the stamp set Peaceful Cabin. Last week I share a tip on the die cut. So this one is pretty much no stamping except the greeting that I share a video. Tips on that it will be at the end of this video also. So today we're going to concentrate on the stamping. So it's just a few little timbits, uh, tips for this one. Uh, it's one that I, I love this set, the outdoor, right? And also see, you can stamp this on the cork paper. The tip to stamp on cork paper, I recommend the Stamparatus so you can stamp a few times and have a pronounced uh, image. This was early espresso and I stamp about three times on uh, the court paper. Now I got two pieces of cardstock and I like to start with a heavy uh, cardstock. This one here I use the shimmer and this is the peaceful paper that I share in the other video. The black and white and I sponge. It's a specialty paper so uh, it don't where the silver is, it's the silver. It's beauty. I'm going to start with a piece. It's um, five and a half by four and a quarter, and we can trim after. We're going to, this one, I got it on the long way. This one, we're going to do vertical. Uh, I mean, horizontal. I'm going to put the cabin about here. Um, wait a minute. Oh, about here. That should be about, it's, oh, need to have it the right ways, right? I'm just trying to keep uh, trees on each side, so to give my chance, so that's why I'm moving that. Here we go. Now we're going to put that there. I like to have um, a stem case here when I ink so that my surface is flat and it's a lot easier when you use the Stamparatus. So we're going to go ahead and stamp this and I want darker than that and stamp this. Mm, that looks pretty good. That looks so cabin. Mm. Here we go. That's going to be good. Now, we're going to do the other piece. Uh, the Let's remove this. Mm, running out of space here. And we're going to do the trees. The trees going to be on a different piece of cardstock. But you can try to align it about the uh, height that you want. So I think that would be about right. I know it's going to change around, but you're going to see what I'm talking about. So now we're going to put that there. Whoops. And I'm going to need one more piece too. I forgot I want to show two things. So let me cut another one. Okay. And I'm using the Evy Whisper White here. The other one was the Shimmer. This is the Evy. Now instead of doing all on the brown tone, this time we're going to do the Shade of Spruce for the threes. I'm going to stamp this here. Oh, that looks so pretty in the shade of spruce. And then another one. The white really looked like the snow, right? Now, I want to do another one. And this one, I want to have it more in the center. So let me just remove this here. And I'm going to bring this here. Oops. I think it's still going to be okay. Even if I get some smear there. You know what? We got two sides to the paper. Here we go. The reason why it's two side to the paper, right? Now I'm going to stamp this. That's pretty good. Okay, so here now we're going to do the die cut. So let me share the die cut. Whoops. Let me move this and let me bring the machine over here. Okay, we kind of see. Okay, 
for the cabin here, you're going to use the piece, the same thing we used the other one, the one that you get the shape of the roof and the chimney there. And you're going to align this, the chimney align, and then right on the side there. That looked pretty good. Now if I can find the other plate, uh, no, well that is funny, where did I shove the other plate? Is it under this? No. Well, that's what happens when you do video after video, you shove and shove. I bet you guys still want me where it is and I cannot hear you. Here it is. Okay, now we're going to put that at the top. And you see, I cut on the long way. I think this is one of the things that you want to do. It's cut on the long way. Because if you cut this way here, let me move that. If you cut this way, see, you, this is the same width than your um, platform. And if you're off a bit, you're going to bend your die and you can even break your die. So keep that in mind. So now we got this cut. We're going to put that aside for now. We're going to bring the threes. We're going to die cut the threes. It matched very, very lovely. That is my dog. Do you know what he's telling you all? He said, Mom, it is dinner time. And I told him that I was working a little bit later today. Right, Granite? You want to talk to them? Yeah, Emmy is hungry. I told him I wanted to finish this video. Okay, now we get this one. Now let's do the next one. Those dogs are so funny. If I can find where, here they are. And this one, we're going to add um, the cutout in the middle of the trees. So we're going to put that there. And I shared that in the other, the other video, but without cutting, uh, without stamping. So we're going to do this. Remove this. And now we're going to bring the one with the little chicken pox, I call it there. The little holes in it. And that match perfectly. Try to make sure I'm still in the view. Match perfectly at the top, so you put all three, well, two are uh, together, and then the single one. Put that at the top, oops, and I hold it tight on the side till it engage, and after it's engaged, it's, oh, this one slid a bit, I think, it's still going to be okay. Now, let's remove this, and let me share how I did my cards so this year you can see it's pretty much removed it's a very friendly die it's um they don't get stuck really together the the little bits and pieces you just brush it off a bit and boom it's done so now for the card like i said this one i'm going to do on the long way i'm going to i won't finish the whole cards but i'm going to share with you how i done that going to cut that here. So you can take your trees, here we go, and you can put it in the back like this. So then you would just trim on each side. So you see you get the back. And then, or you can put it in the front, but see the front, you cover a lot of your um, cabin. So this one, I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm going to put it just like this in the back. Let me, uh, here's another piece. So then you're going to see better. And this one here, this is the one that are open. What I done, it was just the reverse. The open were in the back and this one in the, this was in the back and this one in the front. Doesn't matter. But I think this one, it's even better to have in the front because you see through the branch, the cabin. That make it even more realistic, right? Then just go at the bottom, cut this. 
and then I'm going to be able to add them here. I'm just going to uh, adhere that with glue dots. Now you're going to say, okay, this is not the same length. Let me remove that because I want that about like this. So the best thing to do, it's going to be glue those two together. So you're going to, like this. Now decide where you want these. That look pretty. Okay, like this. See that little bits and piece right here? You're just going to trim that off. Now bring this to your paper trimmer. I'm going to take this on my paper trimmer. I'm going to, so you need one side that it flush to start with. That's very important so your card is straight. I'm going to take this, cut, and then I'm going to do it on the vertical, um, horizontal this way. So I need five and a half or five and a quarter, depends if I want to use a layer. So I'm going to bring this at, it is right at five and a half. So I'm going to leave it like that. Exception, this is not equal there. I'm going to bring this here. So I'm going to have a small layer, I think. Let's flip that around. Oh, I am so sad, so sad. I know some of you are going to laugh at this. Granny, they're laughing at you. Yes, they are. He is a very talkative dog, very much so. Um, one day I'm going to go live and make him sing for you. So now, see how simple, well, this color, well, let's show it on the blue like the sky. See how lovely it is? Now I can take those trees, add some in the front, like this. Now if I want to add snow there, what i done for my snow, is take a scrap paper here and use some glue and just do your snow. See very lightly, it looks like it's going barely nothing, but it's a lot more than you think, right? And I just go the re different direction to have a little bit of, uh, see? That's how I done the snow. Now, from the last video, I want to point out something. This piece that I said, I have no clue what it was. Well, let me show you. It is, if you want to do like a thing of snow and have the fox, let's see, you want to layer that. See, it's the silhouette of the fox. Yes, we have a die for the fox, but you can do a snow bank like this and stamp your fox there. Let me show you right now. And because today it's all about the stamping, right? And then I'm going to show also how to stamp the fence. Let's say you don't want to cut the fence because it's very tiny fence to add and so on. Okay, so here is this silhouette here. Now we're going to take, uh, let me grab it. The fox is going to be in soft suede here. I just grabbed whatever I had on my desk. And... Where is my little fox? Right here. Going to take our little fox. And I think that would be better to uh, stamp your fox and then cut. But et voila. So now you know. And then you can have different layer of snow banks. You see? On that you can build. Now talking about the fence. Now that, um, let's say you don't want to cut. Like I said, today it's stamping. Last week was... Uh, the the dies so let's bring this back here and i'm going to put the fence here et voila is that a cool fence i think it's very pretty and i can even come and no, I won't add it there. But now you see the dies of the fence. 
so and this here it's like maybe a little bit of a cloud you could use it for or you can use it for shadow um, you get the little stars and you get nice greeting so this is the peaceful cabin again this um, this will be finished it will be on my blog right below you get the direct link I'm going to tell you all the color that I use and the product and this one and these this I'm going to share down the road on the cork and then this was last week that the video is going to be at the end that is all dyes and here it's the stamp thank you so much for joining me till next time happy stamping my friend bye bye for now